here on my channel, it becomes really hard sometimes to create the type of content that I make because for the past 12 plus years, black women are under the impression that just because they watch certain videos or they use certain products that everybody's a professional. So today, we are going to break down the scientific compounds of the hair shaft, whether you are black, white, Mexican, Puerto Rican, it don't matter. And black women can do their hair the same way everybody else can. So I'm not going to read these comments. You guys can read them. I've read them before. So that is what this video is based around. Now, when we are shampooing the hair, what we are dealing with is the hydrogen bond. I know across social media, people see me talking about about the hydrogen bond and they make fun of it but I need you guys to understand that your hair is a polypeptide chain and this polypeptide chain has three bonds the hydrogen bond the salt bond and the disulfide bond so I will always talk about the bonds that hold the hair together because without the hydrogen bond you do not have a hair shaft without the disulfide bond you do not have a hair shaft and without the salt bond you do not have a hair shaft so there's no such thing or I'm not talking about a hydrogen barrier. And so this is why it becomes extremely important for us to first get to know the science of hair before we just jump online trying to argue with people on things that we have no comprehension or understanding about. Right. So as I am doing her hair that is constructed of these three polypeptide chains, I have to have an understanding of how to break this bond and how to put it back together properly. And the first thing that you learn in cosmetology school is once you break this bond, you have a very short period of time to put it back together. The bonds should never be broken for long periods of time, right? So this is a regular client of mine and I am giving her a complete scalp detox. I'm not rubbing conditioner into her scalp. This is a scalp scrub that I am using to break up all of the dead skin cells on her scalp, right? And I'm breaking down all of these dead skin cells on her scalp and I am also breaking down all uh, fatty deposits and all product buildup on the scalp and the hair shaft, all right? So as I do this, I create a very, very clean atmosphere for her hair shaft. You guys didn't see it in this clip, but after I put the scrub on, I did wash it out, shampoo it out, and then she got a deep conditioning treatment. Now, my clients did not come to see me every two weeks. They Every week. Every week. They didn't come every week. I will only let my clients come every two weeks. Their silk presses would last, right? And then when they came in, they didn't get a deep conditioner treatment every appointment. They only got a deep conditioner treatment once a month, right? So now at this stage, right, not only did I break the hydrogen bond temporarily, but as I am choosing the products to do her hair with, I am picking them based on her porosity, right? So that way I do not damage the salt bond in the hair, which we will talk about in a second. So when you come across videos on social media that tell you that oh um the bonds in the hair don't matter and it's fake science you guys anybody who says the bonds of the hair shaft are fake science run as far away from their content from their channel as you possibly can google it go book an appointment with your dermatologist your hair shaft is a polypeptide chain the polypeptide chain is made of three bonds the hydrogen bond the disulfide bond and the salt bond so a licensed cosmetologist who remembers the science that did not just get the license and say forget the science this about money what the girls want they understand that i am doing hair based on these three bonds and nothing else when we are coloring the hair, the bond that I'm focused on is the disulfide bond. But today, I'm not really pressed about the disulfide bond because the only way that I will disrupt the disulfide bond is if I blow dry the hair improperly or if I use too much heat for my client's porosity. For example, a person who has a low porosity hair should not go anywhere near like over 400 degrees, really 360 degrees because the cuticles tight 
sight right but you guys so many women come on my channel and they get so bent out of shape when they see my clients getting straight hair the reason that all of the people that you see get straight hair or like their hair flat iron is because baby that's what people booked I didn't control people that's what women wanted mind you they were coming to me for maintenance and you cannot trim curly hair period it's going to be uneven and it just will not give you the same effect but as you can see you can do flexi rod sets sponge rollers perm rod sets so many different things check the link in the description box below to watch the video where i go even deeper into that but you guys there are so many different things that you can do and guess what even with a roller set a flexi rod set all of those things you can damage your hair if they're done the wrong way that's why most of the time when you go on youtube and you look at professional cosmetologists most of us blow dry flat on the same exact way we're following the same exact processes some of us have different product lines that we favor more than others but you have options this beauty here is within the seven day challenge you'll see her in a minute with her hair straightened but this is how curly hair looks with a perm rod set okay i'm sorry a flexi rod set she has her beautiful hair in a flexi rod set when she wants to wear her hair curly she doesn't go get water or a bunch of products and gels and oh I have to stretch my hair because I'm a black woman and I can't use a blow dryer and I can't use all of these things and I have to follow all of these processes it's not true you guys if you are a black woman who doesn't want to use heat all you need is shampoo and conditioner a leave-in conditioner once the regular conditioner is completely rinsed out then after the leave-in conditioner foam to add the rollers once you get from under the dryer and your hair is 100% dry then the next thing you do is get a little bit of a serum and separate those curls this next comment on the screen is a woman who has fallen into the team natural brainwash believing that black women should not use combs and brushes that by combing and brushing your hair if you have 4c hair which you guys know 4c 4a 4b 4w is something that was adopted by the team natural community but i also need you to know that black women are the only women who took hold to the team natural chart every other race of woman on the planet said i don't want anything to do with this andre walker made up the curl type and chart right and after andre walker made up the curl type and chart every other race was like this doesn't make sense it's so funny this is the original curl type and chart and the curl type and chart actually starts at one asian women are 1a 1b 1c and then it goes down the line and black women are at the very end of the curl type and chart that you guys believe was created just for you the curl type and chart was not created for black women it was created by a man named andre walker who was oprah winfrey freeze hairstylist in the early 1990s okay and he created this curl type and chart to sell his own products and guess what all other races threw it away and kept using the same products that are in cosmoprof today and black women took on the fours and made it their identity and not only did black women make the curl type and chart within the fours their identity they also shamed and pushed away every other black woman that spent her life studying the human hair shaft right and its complexity right they became brainwash to believe that black women need all of these other types of combs and brushes and that all of the tools that are in hair salons are not created with black women in mind when prior to all of this there were people like you know Annie Malone and all of the other people all of the other amazing cosmetologists that came before us that taught us the exact opposite I want you to think about it the marcel irons that our grandmothers and mothers use are way hotter than the flat irons we're using
today, right? The flat irons that I use can only go up to 450 degrees, but the Marcel irons, they would have those in there all day. Of course, taking them out, but there was no way that you could track the heat. You just have to trust that the technician, that the cosmetologist knew how to do her job. And baby, they did. I learned from amazing cosmetologists. And contrary to popular opinion, black women can use the same combs and brushes that everyone else can. But depending on your curl pattern and depending on your texture is going to determine what types of combs and brushes you use and when you comb your hair and how you comb your hair. For example, you are only supposed to cut hair when it is stretched, right? Regardless of the texture, you only cut hair when it is stretched. Now, the difference of when you cut black hair and when you cut, or I won't even say black hair, when you cut curly hair and when you cut straight hair has nothing to do with race, but on how it looks when it is wet, right? So somebody with naturally curly hair, their hair is swollen when it is wet. It's not stretched, but a person with naturally straight hair, their hair is swollen when it is dry and stretched when it is wet. So if you know you only cut hair stretched, then you have to look at each texture and say, when is it stretched at its capacity? And that is when I do a trim. This is why the majority of the women that you would see here on my channel have their hair straightened because when they're coming to me, they're coming for maintenance and the law of the cosmetology field is you only cut hair when it is stretched right so the woman that you see on the screen is from the seven day challenge and as you can see the big balls at the beginning that was all from her team natural practices that's how much hair she would lose combing her curly hair with her old practices but look at the top those little itty bitty balls that is how much hair she loses now right when she does her normal wash day hair growth pattern so for all of the people who make comments or all of the people who are still under the team natural brainwash of oh black women can only you know they're not supposed to comb their hair we're only supposed to use our fingers because it's damaging you guys have been in this brainwash for so long that you take the brainwash as fact and you argue with the truth this is the same woman this is her hair in a flexi rod set and then over there is her hair blown out right and straightened with curls in it you as a black woman do not have to just put water in your hair or do twist you can do more than that before and after yes if you guys continue to comb your curly hair the way that you've been doing it following women on youtube that have no educational background as it pertains to the human hair shaft the hydrogen bond the disulfide bond and all of these things right you will end up in that state absolutely if you comb curly hair a certain way yes you will have this much breakage and that is why you listen to somebody who spent their life learning how to manipulate curly hair the right way and not people who just randomly get online with a bottle of their favorite smell good uh shampoo and conditioner and show you how to play in your hair right facts are facts and i know for a lot of people it's really, really hard to accept. But as you can see, this is a beautiful black woman. There is no question about of whether or not this is a black woman. And you can clearly see her hair is absolutely beautiful, stunning, long, healthy, thick, no damage whatsoever. Her hair is absolutely beautiful. And it can happen for you too, right? Most of the patterns that we are using, we're passing down to our daughters. This is one of my favorite customers. We did a one-on-one -on -one consultation before my books closed and I let her know to add Bulldog Blue to her daughter's diet and regimen. And her daughter's form of alopecia was immediately reversed, right? And the reason that our babies are getting alopecia and our babies are having thinning and breakage is because we are adopting 
old made up practices and taking those on as truth so let's talk about the salt bond in the hair so many people like I said or like you saw at the beginning get so bothered by me talking about the bonds in the hair and again anybody who tells you that I'm making it up get off their channel as soon as you possibly can and research it just research it what is hair made of and the first thing it's going to tell you is your hair is made of a polypeptide Jane yeah so now as I am shampooing her hair right why do cosmetologists go so deep shampooing your hair when you go across social media one thing that you will find is cosmetologists like real life cosmetologists baby we take the shampooing process so serious and that is because we all know what lives on the human scalp we know what lives there right now when it comes to oh why don't you have on gloves and things of that nature listen when you're doing 13 14 people in a day sometimes you put on gloves sometimes you don't but when it comes to demodex mites and yeast and things of that nature we know what we're doing as it pertains to removing moving them from the scalp and killing things on the scalp so that is extremely important it's so important that you really really learn how to manage your scalp's microbiome and so many people who wear their hair natural think that just because their hair is long is healthy what you're looking at right now is what the majority of women who would sit in my chair for the first time hair would look like long hair does not equal healthy hair so for all of the women who comment that want to argue and things of that nature you guys I literally built my career servicing women just like you women who think they know everything until they sit in my chair and then I straighten their hair give them the mirror turn them around and they can see the true reality of their hair because when your hair is curly it's swollen curly hair swells when it's wet and when you let it dry in its natural state you're letting it dry in a swollen state so when your hair is curly if you've only seen your hair curly you have no idea how healthy your hair really is no clue no clue and I get so many people that are like oh I've been doing it for 15 years or I've been doing it for 10 years or I've been doing it for four years and I'm good the majority of women that come on that want to argue are like in their mid 30s but hair weathering takes anywhere between six months to 25 years to set in even though 25 years is the big number it can take longer than that and the thing is so many people pack so much product in their hair that you're never able to really see the true or feel the true texture of your hair you don't really know right so one thing that I want you to pay attention to even though this is moving pretty fast I'm gonna have another video just strictly on the blowout so you can see what the blow dryer uh my blow dryer brush looks like but all of those globs of hair that y'all have in y'all brushes when you guys are even blow drying your hair at home or when you're detangling your hair at home it never happens in the hair salon ever the only time that I've ever had that much hair in a brush in the hair salon is if I'm taking down one of my clients uh hair extensions that's been up for like three four months other than that it's not going down or or unless I'm combing out like matted hair that has a whole bunch of shedding and stuff in there other than that never you guys never ever ever so if you are losing hair to a comb or a brush if you cannot comb or brush your hair as a black woman without your hair breaking this is going to be triggering for you but your routines and your patterns are wrong and the thing is a lot of black women do not like to be told they're wrong even in genres that they have no education in whatsoever right and I think the thing that makes it craziest to me is how angry women are like when I make videos like this the response is so angry and like you don't know what you're talking about and you're a fraud so my question to you is what makes you so angry 
what rage baited you here to this channel to make you so angry about a licensed cosmetologist doing what she went to school to do I want you guys to pay attention to her hair. This is another one of my regular clients, Joy. And in a second, you're going to see how her hair was when she first came to me. Now, Joy lives in another state, right? And she would come see me approximately like every two to three months. She would come, she would drive out here to Las Vegas to come see me to sit in my chair. So that way I can keep up with her trims, her maintenance and everything and everything that she needed to do right to keep up with her own natural hair growth cycle and her own patterns she was I let her know to do right before she went home she knew everything to do so every time she came and sat in my chair I was never doing a reparative treatment ever ever we were only just making sure we kept up with her trims and we were picking up where we left off and this is why she was always able to retain length because when she wasn't in my chair she was not just throwing products in her hair and letting her hair air dry she was not just putting like bantu knots in her hair i know y'all love bantu knots yes they're beautiful yes they're cute but there's a certain way that you do them because if you just randomly put the knots in your hair the thing that is keeping the knot in is your ends so of course when you take the knots out you're gonna have broken ends because it is your ends that is making that style possible i really hope that it makes sense but hair styling has nothing to do with hair care that is why a hairstylist license and a cosmetology license are two completely different things because a person who is styling your hair does not necessarily have the proper education on the human scalp on the human hair shaft what to and what not to put on it is not the same and these are things that I want you guys to think about right so when I make certain videos and certain people make certain comments and I'm not open to debating or I'm not open to going back and forth like, oh, black girls aren't supposed to have combs. We're not supposed to have brushes. You don't like straight hair. I mean, you don't like natural hair. All you want to do is straight hair. I'm not feeding into it. I'm not entertaining it as it pertains to like us going back and forth the majority of the comments you guys never see i delete them or i block the people the only reason i responded to these two comments that we're seeing today is because i really want us out of this brainwash why do we believe that as black women we are locked into only wearing our hair in twists or a wash and go or a top knot bun or wearing our hair wet who made you believe that you cannot comb or brush your hair when since the beginning of time black women have been using combs and brushes like black women invented some of the types of combs and brushes that we use so it it makes no sense you guys like the way that we think now you think that you're like empowering black women by saying that oh you're not supposed to do anything to your hair where you're actually taking us backwards because throughout history there is a reason why most cosmetologists become cosmetologists we get inspired by the women who come before us and i was so inspired by so many great cosmetologists that came before me so to now double back and say let's throw all of this away we're not supposed to use combs we're not supposed to use brushes because it's damaging the black hair and black women are the only women on the planet who can't use a comb can't use a brush can't use a blow dryer all we can use is oils and butters and grease like at, at some point there has to be a light bulb that goes off right and moreover let's say the light bulb never goes off for you that is okay it's okay right because even when I went to cosmetology school they set me down right in the orientation and they gave me options they said do you want to be an esthetician and focus on this do you want to be a hairstylist and just focus on this or do you want to be a cosmetologist and focus on 
everything the full umbrella and I chose the full umbrella and then after that it wasn't enough for me so I kept furthering my education through trichology and then that wasn't enough for me so I kept going back to get more education not so I can name drop my degrees and stuff because I'll never do that I'm a very private person and I don't want people in my business but as we speak right now I'm still in school educating myself so I I can make educated statements so I'm not making defensive statements right so I'm able to really in real life have a true hypothesis which is an educated guess right that I can make and then finish the entire scientific method let me know if you guys want a video based around the scientific method and how you guys can add it to your hair care regimen right I think I have a video on it so let me know if you want to see it and I'll add it in the comments below but let me know in the comments right but at this point um normally joy didn't have me curl her hair so I don't remember why we put curls in it this time but we did okay but I'm gonna show you her hair again in a second but I just want you to see like this is a black woman you saw the first woman that was a black woman and black women's hair can grow both women that you are that you just saw neither do wash and goes neither do twist outs neither let their hair air dry in the afro both of them use combs and brushes on a regular basis not to mention my mother also wore afro all the time and my mother told me straight up the way that she used to do her hair my mother combed her hair every morning and every night and the way that my mom did her afro she would put it she would uh put her hair in sections and then she would put rollers in her hair and then she would pick the rollers out in the morning and that would give her a bomb ass fro right let me know in the comments if y'all want my mom to come on and tell y'all and then maybe I'll even add a couple of pictures in that video so my mom can show y'all what her fro looked like and my mother was born in the 60s so again our mothers and grandmothers were not just walking out of the house with wet hair absolutely not like my auntie was a it was a hairstylist my grandma can do hair like and none of them were doing wash and goes like it just wasn't a thing they were setting the bonds too they're the ones who taught us how to set the bonds properly and we have just randomly decided to throw everything that they said just throw it away because black women cannot grow long hair and you are not a black woman or proud to be a black woman if you wear your hair straight or if you're a cosmetologist who posts uh your clients with straight hair you are Oh, your anti curly hair I'm sure you guys seen that in those comments I'm not reading them again y'all could read them for yourself but the most of the time when women see my videos the first thing they want to do is give a personal attack like you're preaching this or saying this because you don't like black women's curly hair or you're anti not natural hair it is the most ignorant statement that I've ever heard in my life because as a licensed cosmetologist and research scientist is I don't see hair like oh race and I'm anti this style and I'm anti this style no I am about the proper procedures of hair I'm anti anything that causes repetitive breakage to different bonds that are in the hair so when I'm talking about bonds I really need y'all to understand that bonds is not something that you can just skate over like the woman in the first video you keep talking about bonds there is literally no nothing else to talk about when we're talking about the human hair shaft because without the three bonds that hold your hair together the polypeptide chain that is your hair shaft does not exist so if you think that the bonds that make up the human hair shaft don't matter my baby girl you don't matter hello if the hydrogen bond disappears so do your hair if the disulfide bond and the salt bond disappear, so does your hair, girl. So again, I want you to see this is the same woman, Joy, right? But this is months and months later, right before I retired from the hair industry. This video is about uh, six years old, probably a little longer than that. That's why it's like a little blurry. But as you can see, 
her hair is not shorter it is not broken off when she left my chair she didn't wear her hair and wash and goes for six months what she did was the routines and the patterns that I gave her, which are the same routines and patterns that everybody follows within the seven day challenge. And this is why everybody is getting results. And this is why no matter what products come out, my clients were never like just switching them up and trying new things. They're not doing multiple big chops. I'm not trying to be cocky, but once a woman sat in my chair, she never did another big chop. Do you understand? Unless she didn't follow my directions and she jumped back on the team natural bandwagon after that first big chop she never had another one so as you guys already saw at a couple of seconds ago you saw where her hair was when she first started coming to me and as you can see it is a drastic difference and after her very first cut we never had another one ever so if you want to see that full video then make sure you check the links in the description box because i'll put it there but when you hear my intensity or my lack of uh, ability to go back and forth or me just have a nice day or sometimes I seem a little annoyed, it's because I am, right? How would you feel if you did something for 20 years right for 20 years and then people who just read little articles about what you've done for 20 years want to come online and like argue and go back and forth it will make you a little irritated too right but that's not what this video is about i just want you to see as a black woman that the myth of you combing and brushing your hair and black women's hair being so fragile and you can't use combs and that's why you use your fingers you only using your fingers and not using combs and brushes is what makes your hair weak and what these women are not telling you is after you go six months after you go a year of finger finger detangling and not combing your brush combing or brushing your hair your hair has no memory it has no memory so the second you add a comb or a brush it begins to break because your hair is weak your hair is weak because it has no pattern it has no routine all you do is wet it saturate it with product and then you use four fingers to comb through anywhere between a hundred thousand and four hundred thousand strands of hair this is how Joy's hair looked when we first started working with each other, right? When I first did her hair, um, this wasn't even our very first appointment, but it was probably like a cup, like about six months into this is where her hair was, right? And we did her chop because she did have a little bit of breakage. And this is where we are today. She brushes and combs her hair every single day once in the morning and once at night so automatically the theory of a black woman combing and brushing her hair and she has curly hair is completely null and void right you not combing and brushing your hair is the reason why when you do comb and brush your hair you feel like you can't do it without water or conditioner but her sebum flows out of her scalp so much that she doesn't need to add any oils or butters or anything to her hair to comb it out and when she doesn't want to wear it straight she could do a flexi rod set or a roller set or she could get a sew in there are so many different options but I'm a black woman and as a black woman you can use combs and brushes you can and you are not dead locked in to only finger detangling your hair or stretching your hair you can use a blow dryer and be done in like 15 minutes <laughs> if you want to learn more about the cycles that my clients like the two beautiful women in this video followed then that is what the seven day challenge is all about and the growth cycle blueprint is the next level up from the seven day challenge that does explain hairstyling and so many other things to you i really hope that this video makes sense give this video a thumbs up and really tell me what you think share your honest opinion in the comments love you bye thank you